you're into defensive firearms, you probably know that a laser and a white light can both be very important tools for you to have available in any kind of personal defense situation. Obviously, inside of a home defense situation or a public environment, you may be faced with a situation where you don't have enough light to see where you are, to identify your threat, and you're going to want to have a white light available. Now, most people choose to carry a primary white light as a handheld light so that it obviously can be used without having to integrate a firearm. But having one integrated with your firearm as a secondary light is a great option. As far as lasers go, lasers can be a great tertiary aiming option. Primarily, in a defensive situation, we're relying on kinesthetic alignment. Secondarily, we've got the sights that are actually built onto the gun. And as a tertiary, a third option, a laser can be great in situations where you can't get the gun into your line of sight, or for other reasons of contrast and lighting, you want a dot to indicate exactly where that muzzle is pointed. And there is no doubt that in the area of defensive lasers, Crimson Trace is the premier company in the industry. Uh, I've relied on Crimson Trace lasers on a variety of different products, usually as a grip option, but now we've got the Railmaster Pro that integrates not only a red or green laser, but also a white light. This is a CNC aluminum housing. It uses one battery, and it, as I said, it has a white light and a laser integrated. The 205 model has a red laser, and the 204 model has a green laser. It's got several different activation options. We can set it up right now like it is for a light and laser combo. We can set it up like I have the green one, simply for a green dot only. Or we can simply hold these buttons down for three seconds, and cycle through a variety of options. Light only, strobing light with laser, light and laser, or we're back to laser only. Whichever one I leave as the last option, let's say white light only, and I turn it off, that's the option I'm gonna get when I activate the switch again. It'll go right back to that. I wanna change the mode, I can simply hold it, and at this point I'm going to strobing, turn it off, and then if I wanna use this, obviously it'll be attached to my firearm, I activate the switch, I get that disorienting effect of the strobe along with the aiming option of the green laser. So very simple to use and as you're going to see here it's also very simple to install. When you get the product from Crimson Trace you'll get a really nice convenient little fold out here, gives you all your parts, tells you what everything's for, um, tells you how to put it on, how to set it up. Uh, obviously it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. All right so I've got this XDM and I've got the red laser here. I've got an adjustment tool got my multi-tool and I've got these little inserts. Now these inserts uh, are coded and you get a little chart in the instruction manual that tells you which one you're going to want to pick. Uh, you actually have to push these in there pretty good. This is one of the things, uh, this doesn't just sit right in there, it's really attached pretty well. So it's got these little indentations in there and you really do have to sort of push this in there. This doesn't just sit in there and loose and kind of rattle around. You really need to give that some strength, push in there. And then once that's in there, we can get our clamps going on the device and then uh, sort of set it at a little bit of an angle and roll it in. Get that positioned where you want. You want to put it on the right rail so that your buttons, your activation buttons, are set up around the front of the trigger guard so that you can reach them uh, probably with your trigger finger, possibly with your thumb of your support hand. And then once those are in position, just go ahead and tighten these screws down and we should be in pretty good business. Now once you get this installed, of course, you're going to want to head out to the range. You can look at the iron sights first and align the red dot with the iron sights using the adjustment tool that they include in the package, but obviously you're going to want to go ahead and compare that to the actual impact point live fire. Now the thing to remember when you're adjusting the laser is that it can only be on very specifically as far as up and down in one place, at one range. You know, the reality is the bullet's coming out of the barrel, the laser's coming from down here. If I go ahead and put this into battery, you're going to see that there's some pretty good standoff there. So those two things are only going to com come together in space at one specific place. So we need to set this up and zero it for a range that we would expect to be using a defensive firearm, probably somewhere between 9 and 15 feet. Um, one inch isn't going to make a big difference if you're shooting at the chest, but if you're doing a more precise shot, especially if you're using that laser for an extended distance, you're going to need to remember that if you zeroed at 15 feet and now you're trying to shoot at 25 yards, the up and down, the elevation of the laser may be a little bit off. So again, this gun is completely clear and I can now reach with my trigger finger and turn that on. 
I can turn it off. I could also do that with my offhand thumb if I was inclined to. I could use my offhand thumb here right on that button as well. And depending on how you train and how you practice, uh, you may prefer one or the other. Of course, if you're in a one-handed situation, if you're in an injured situation, which would be where you would definitely want to use the laser, if I couldn't get my arms up, couldn't get my hand up, if I were injured in my strong hand, I had to pick the gun up with my weak hand, now I'm using my trigger finger on my weak hand to activate that switch and allow me to get the advantage of that laser aiming device. Keep in mind, anytime you put a light on a gun, you've just potentially turned that gun into a flashlight and that flashlight into a gun. And you need to be very aware of muzzle discipline and use bounced light intermittently and indirectly is how I prefer to use it. And make sure that you're not actually pointing the light and therefore the gun at people that you don't want to point a gun at. Crimson Trace ProMaster, the rail series. This is a great light. It obviously looks very rugged. I'm looking forward to taking it out on the range. Very easy to install, very easy to use, very easy to program for four different modes. Constant light on, constant laser on, constant light and laser, or the laser with the strobing light. These are, uh, again, CNC machined aluminum housings. They are actually waterproof up to one meter, and uh, it's certainly going to be a durable product from a trusted name, Crimson Trace. Thank you.